Today we have an exciting topic to dive into, creating 2D dialogue system and my overall progress my game has made throughout the six months of making games in Unreal Engine. To give you a quick background, I started my programming journey last June, primarily focusing on Unreal Engine and general programming. Initially, I began with simple 3D modeling, dreaming of creating a full-fledged game in Unreal Engine. However, I quickly realized that I overscoped my project, considering I was just starting out. I knew nothing about networking, and I needed to start smaller. Instead of getting discouraged, I decided to take a step back and start small. I remembered that I started a story over three years ago in creating a cyberpunk-style game that intertwines radiation interdimensional science. The plot revolves around two brothers on a quest to find their lost parents, who were esteemed scientists involved in groundbreaking dimensional experience with, with a powerful corporation. So I had to get started. Choosing the right engine for my game was a crucial decision. I embarked on extensive research. I found myself debating between Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, and Game Maker. Many people argue that Unreal Engine was primarily suited for 3D games and that its 2D capabilities were limited. However, for me personally, I felt a strong connection with Unreal Engine and the visual scripting that it offers. While I'm still learning and growing, I found that I could grasp the concepts and progress faster when working in Unreal Engine compared to the other engines. In Unity, I often found myself copy and pasting code without fully understanding it. It let me felt lost and directionless. I ended up turning to Unreal Engine. Luckily for me, the release of Unreal Engine's new input system proved to be a game changer saving me from a lot of headaches when it came to setting up top-down directionality. I gradually gained the confidence in my programming skills. After I got the basics in, I was learning how to create a dialogue system, which I stumbled upon narrative. Before I go further, I wanted to mention in no way I am sponsored to speak about narrative or paid to review it. This is purely me talking about my experiences with the narrative plugin. So, narrative is a powerful plugin that saves me months of development work. Not only did it come with a dialogue system, but it also came with a questing system. This made my overall motivation skyrocket, so I knew I could bring this to my project and add personality to it. Another plugin I used was Proto Text Plugin. I merged the two together and created an immersive dialogue system that fits the standards of 2D dialogue in games. I created materials that'll change how the dialogue would look. I was able to create NPCs with choices and quest systems that responded to answers made by the character. I'm excited to show you guys more about the project and the demo that's releasing soon. It's probably going to come out in a couple months, but I'll make an official announcement on my channel, so make sure you subscribe. If you guys want more details on how I created my dialogue system, let me know down in the comments and I'll go over exactly how I created it. There was a time in Unreal that I actually almost gave up. The orthographic camera doesn't work very well, it has a lot of lighting bugs, and I was struggling with what to do. I even considered leaving Unreal completely. Level design was such a pain due to its restrictions on orthographic camera and worries about long actual level design process that would, that would take making the full game. I even took a weekend to learn Godot and Game Maker. I know it was only a weekend, but I felt like I couldn't connect with the engines as I did Unreal. I even tried converting my game into 3D. About one month went into heavy research and evaluating my options. To be honest, I was stressing so bad about it, I felt completely burnt out and unmotivated for a week. Though I decided to keep going with Unreal, I feel like with this engine, since we can alter the literal code at any time, as long as you have the knowledge, determination, or e even the money to pay somebody to help you, you can accomplish anything in this engine. Right now I'm working with a friend who's well versed in C++ to help fix the issues with tile set setup and overall efficiency with level design. When we create something concrete, I would love to share it with you guys, so stay tuned for that as well. Anyways, we are creating the first level and a little bit of the waking world of my game. The priority with our game's demo is to create a glimpse of the features and gameplay style we wish to pursue. So far, we have enemy types, inventory, quests, and dialogue system, and the first boss. Also, we have a Discord. You can ask for help. You can see updates on the game. You can even share your games. Well, this was my first devlog. Definitely more to come, and I'll expand more on the dialogue system, struggles with Unreal, pros with Unreal, and overall progress for our RPG game. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, what you would like to see. I can provide tutorials on anything that you guys would like. Thank you so much.